Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, guys. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona. And welcome to Beginners 3. How are you today, guys? All good? Yeah. 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 All right, fantastic. So it's good to see you. Well, not to see you, literally, I can't see you. But good for you to be here. The one of the two, Antonio, Jairo, Pamela, Claudia, and Galaxy Note 10 Plus. No sé quién eres tú. Yo sé que yo aquí. ¿Qué? Galaxy Note 10 Plus. What is your name? Hello, this is Jonathan. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jonathan. So I only see the type of phone. All right, Jonathan, thank you very much. Let's get down to business, guys. Do you have any question about yesterday's class? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la clase de ayer? No. No? All righty, very good. So if that's the case, let's get hands on and check today's topic, okay? Vamos a tratar de cubrir bastante temas el día de hoy. We're going to try to cover different topics today. So, please go ahead and meet. Oops, let me get this up. All right, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class. 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 You will learn vocabulary. Well, give me a second, guys. I still have the previous classes. Previous classes vocabulary. Just a moment. Just a moment. We gotta go here on this one. All right. So. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound now. Go, please. By the end of the class, class, you will learn to sound natural, natural, natural when natural singing compound song now. Compound now, right? Compound, compound now. What comes to your mind when you hear the word compound now? ¿Qué viene tu mente cuando escuchan compound now? ¿Qué creen que es? Compuesto. Compuesto, very good. So guys, al finalizar esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando estén diciendo sustantivos compuestos. All right? ¿Qué es un sustantivo compuesto? What is a compound noun? What we're going to learn today. Lo que vamos a aprender ahora. All right? Please go ahead and mute your microphones and let's pay attention to the video. Okay? Mute your microphone. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So, Basically, anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. 
So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty guys. So who can tell me what a compound noun is? Can you play a circuit compound noun? A noun equals a person, a place. Who can tell me what a compound noun is? Can you play a circuit compound noun? Eh, son palabras compuestas. Okay, yeah, pretty much. Simple as that. So, um, what is, for example, um, book? What is book? Comida. ¿Cómo dijo? Book. Book. Mm -hmm. Ah, book. Okay. Libro. Exactly. And a store? Tienda. And what Tienda. is a store? Tienda. Together, book is libro, right? Store, tienda. Bookstore? Librería. Librería, correct, exactly. So guys, listen up. Con esto tenemos que tener un poquito de cuidado porque no todo es literal. For example, department store no es una tienda de departamentos. Okay? Department store is like Siman, for example. That's a department store. Donde ustedes pueden comprar ropa, you can buy clothes. How do you say zapatos? Shoes, accessories, etc. All right. So, la regla que nos estaba diciendo José en el video es que cuando nosotros tenemos eh, nombres compuestos, compound noun, que son mucho más comunes de lo que pensamos, vamos a hacer generalmente el estrés en la primera palabra. So, say with me, please. Post office. Post office. Very good. So, cuando digo el estrés, no es que no hayamos que hacer, estamos estresados, sino que la fuerza en nuestra voz. All right? So, tell me if it's correct or incorrect. All right? Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Correct or incorrect? Post office. Incorrect. Correct. Correct, right? What about post office? Post office. Correct. Correct. Say with me, please. Post office. Post office. Drugstore. Drugstore. What is the meaning of drugstore? Pharmacia. Pharmacia, right? It's a pharmacy. It's the same thing as a pharmacy. Drugstore. Next one. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. If you notice here, Si ustedes notan, vamos a unirlo porque ambos termina, termina con S y empieza con S. Entonces, hacemos un link sound. Un link es cuando está unido. All right? So, vamos All a right. look at me here. Gas, Gas. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Now, you tell me if it's correct or incorrect, okay? Ustedes díganme si está bien o mal. Gas station. Incorrect. 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 Why? Because I pause. It's a pause. Gas station. Correct. 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 Very good. So say with me. Supermarket. 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 Very good. Restroom. 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 Bookstore. 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 Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Department store. Department store. Department store. Department store. Department store. All right, very good. So, um, listen up. How do you say oficina postal? Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Link it. Post office. 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 Post
post office, all right? Post office. How do you say uh, farmacia? Drugstores. Very good. So how do you say mm, baño? Year. Fred. Ah, baño. Fred. Restroom. Restroom. No. Bathroom. 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 Depends. Depends. Bathroom, guys, is where you have the shower. Cuando ustedes tienen la ducha. Oh. Restroom is the restroom. Restroom. How do you say inodoro? Rest. Toilet. Toilet. Pero ese es el toilet. toilet. Literalmente es el chile bocón. Toilet. 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 All right. So, this is what I need you to do, guys. I need you to give me an example what can you do at a post office? We covered that yesterday. ¿Qué pueden hacer en un post office? Uh, send a message. You can send a message. Mm, how do you say carta? Letter. 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 Very good. You can letter. send letters. Very letters. Mm -hmm. pueden, what can you do in a drugstore? You can buy, buy an ice pack. Send package. You can send package in the post office. Yes. <laughs> you can send packages. Very good. Paquetes. Packages. How do you say paquetes? Packages. 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 Say with me, please. Packages. 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 Paquete. Package. Packets. Package. All right. What can you do at a supermarket? Buy milk. You can buy milk. So, how do you say uh, uh, compras? But compras in general? Shopping. Shopping. I can. So, when you go to the supermarket, you want to buy food, toilet paper, um, oil, etc. Those are the groceries. Groceries. So, las cosas que vamos a las casas son groceries. Tanto comida, cosas de aseo, aseo personal, etc. So, you can buy groceries. What Upstairs. can you? Oopsie. Sorry, I love this question. What can you do in the restroom? Um, you can order a dish. In the restroom? I'm um, sorry, I <laughs> I hear restaurant. Uh huh. What is restroom? Banyo. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a shower. <laughs> mm, no, because no. there's no shower. That's the bathroom. No. Ah, okay. Read newspaper. <laughs> you can read the newspaper. Okay. <laughs> you can play Candy Crush or whatever, any game. All right, guys, what can you do at a bookstore? Uh, read a book. Read bookstore a book? Bookstore is como librería. You can buy a book. Exactly. You can buy a book. What can you do at a coffee shop? You can, like you can drink coffee. You can drink? You can gossip with friends. Gossip. How do you say chambrear? Gossip. With friends. Very good. You can gossip with friends. Gossip with friends. What can you do at a department store? You can buy clothes. Bye. You, exactly. You can buy clothes. Very good. Okay, guys, so what is a compound noun? Que es un nombre compuesto? Uh, two words. Unidas. Two words together that they make a new word, okay? Acuérdense. Two words together. Restroom is baño. Rest is descansar. Rest. Room is cuarto. Si bien descansamos sentados en el trono, no es para eso, okay? No es un cuarto de descanso. Right. Going to the restroom. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue, guys. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn the By the end of this class, you will learn. Uh -huh. By the end of this class, you will learn preposition. At the preposition of flight in order to give direction. Good. Additionally, guys, en esta no escucho todos um, pronunciar. Obviamente no voy a poder escuchar todas sus pronunciaciones, pero tenemos que empezar a 
mover los músculos de la boca y adaptarlos a la inversión, ¿ok? Solo que yo diga, ustedes traten de repetirlo tan exacto como puedan. ¿Ven? Ok. So, no. say with me, please. By the end of this class, by the end of this class, class, you will learn prepositions of place. You will, you will learn, learn prepositions of place. Aha, uh -huh, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. In, in order, order to give direction. 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 To give to directions. Give direction. Additionally, 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 you will practice a conversation. You will practice a conversation. conversation. Which illustrates how this topic is used. 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 Which illustrates how Life setting. Real life setting. Setting. Life setting. In a real life setting. So, guys, now wait for me to finish and then it's your turn. Okay? Esperen que yo termine y traten de leerlo todo a la misma velocidad. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Go. Everybody. By the end of this class, 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 you will, you will learn, learn to in order, in order to give direction, 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 conversation, illustrate how this is used in a real life setting. In a real life setting, very good. All right, fantastic, guys. So let's go ahead and continue with this one. Let's continue. Al finalizar de esta clase, aprenderán proposiciones de lugar para dar Además, practicarán una conversación en la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza ese tema en un entorno de la vida real. All right? So, let's get things going. Cuando yo les digo, guys, let's get things going, es como que hagamos lo que tenemos que hacer, ¿ok? So, ok. Mute your microphones. Silenciemos los micrófonos. And let's go ahead and watch the video. Ok. Thank you. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. Alrighty, guys. In First Avenue. Here on the corner. We're going to back it up a little. Okay? So, let's go ahead and read these. Vamos a leer esto so we can have context. Para que podamos tener un poquito de contexto en cómo se ocupan las preposiciones de lugar en una conversación. Okay? So, Please go ahead and repeat after me. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Can you help me? Can you help me? How do you say disculpe? Me puede ayudar? Excuse me. Can you help me? Help me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom? Say with me, please. Public. 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 Hay un baño público en los alrededores cerca. Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom around here. A public restroom. Hmm. A, a public, public restroom. restroom. Public mm. restroom. Mm. Mm. Don't forget the hmm, right? Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't How do you say un baño público? Hmm. Public restroom. Public restroom. Public restroom. Mm. restroom. Mm. Lo siento. Restroom. Creo que no. I'm sorry. sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. Very good. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. How do you say? Oh no, mi hijo necesita un baño. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. There you go. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, well, there's a restroom in the apartment store on Main Street. On Main Street. Very good. No se me queden, guys. So, how do you say, bueno, hay un baño en, la, en, la, en el departamento de ropa en la calle principal? Well, well there's, there's a restroom in the apartment on Main Street. Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street. Where on Main Street? 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 It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and Avenue. Avenue. Very good. So, how do you say, está en la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. 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 On the corner of Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. Main and First. En la esquina de la primera. On the corner of Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Yes, 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 it's across from the park. park. You miss, miss it. You miss, miss it. it. Yes, yes. está al cruzar el parque. Yes, yes it's across from the park. 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 You miss it. From the park. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it. How do you say? Well, you can't miss it has different yeah. meanings. Tiene diferentes lugares. Okay? Now, here it could be you can miss it is like no te lo puedes perder en caso de un evento. You can't miss it. How do you say, no te lo puedes perder, hablando del cumpleaños? You can't you can miss it. it. You can't miss it. Very good. Can't And also it. it can be, you can't you miss, can it. miss it. No te vas you a perder. Es súper obvio. Right? You can't miss it. Como cuando está el, 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 el árbol navideño en El Salvador del Mundo. Si tú vas al Salvador del Mundo, you can't miss the tree. Lo van a ver porque sí. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Thanks a lot. All right, very good. Little by little, guys, we're going to be getting vocabulary. Okay? So, here we have prepositions. Say it with me. On. 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 Mm -hmm. So, on, guys, lo vamos a ocupar para calles. Okay? So, how do you say in la primera avenida? First Avenue. First, first, first Avenue. Avenue. First, first Avenue. 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 How do you say Galaxy Bowling is in the 75th Avenida Norte? Galaxy Bowling is on the 75th Avenue. Avenue. North, North Avenue. Avenue exactly. North. Say Avenue with me. North. Galaxy Bowling. Galaxy, Galaxy Bowling. Bowling is on 75th Avenue North. 
is in seven north. Seven in fifth. Avenue North. Avenue North. Avenue North. Avenue North. All right, very good. Now, también lo podemos ocupar, guys, para en la esquina de. Okay, so en la esquina de vamos a ocupar on First Avenue and Second Street. Say it with me, on First Avenue and Second Street. On First, on first Avenue, Avenue and, and Second Street. Street. Very good. Now, say it with me, on the corner of. On the corner of. How do you say en la esquina de? On the corner of. Exactly. Now, aquí, guys, generalmente, como estamos hablando de la esquina, vamos a ocupar las calles que están haciendo contacto. Okay? So, for example, how do you say en la esquina de la 75 Avenida Norte y San Antonio Abad? On the corner of, of, of the Avenue North and San Antonio and San Antonio Abad. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, how do you say al cruzar la calle? Across, 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 across from. Across from. Very good. So, how do you say, well, across from is pretty much the same as in front of. Es casi lo mismo que in front of. Okay. Okay. La in diferencia, front guys, front. is across from hace énfasis en que tú tienes que cruzar la calle. Okay. Que está al otro lado de. Y cuando ustedes dicen enfrente, solo hacemos énfasis en eso. In front of, enfrente de. ¿Estamos? Sí. Ok. So across from, how do you say? Al otro lado de. Across, my across, from. across from. Enfrente de. In front of. In front of. Uh -huh. I'm going to write it down. In front of. Tienen significados muy similares. They have very, very similar meanings. All right. Um, how do you say? Let me see. I'm trying to think of, of something. How do you say el pollo campero está al otro lado de Metro Centro? Pollo campero está across from Metro Centro. Is across from? You can say Metro Centro. Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can definitely. I have a question. How do you say pasarela? Pasarela, you can say footbridge. Hay, hay bastantes maneras de decir foot, eh, pasarela. Footbridge. Bridge. Bridge. Bridge is puente. Bridge. Uh -huh. Bridge. Bridge. Across Foot the bridge. Bridge. Uh -huh. Foot Foot bridge. Bridge. Foot Foot bridge. bridge. Luego bridge. tenemos catwalk, pero catwalk, guys, es más que todo pasarela de moda. Like fashion. Foot bridge. So, fashion foot bridge, show. pasarela, catwalk. catwalk. Es pasarela de moda. Okay. Foot bridge. Very good. So, how do you say a la par de? Between. Next to. Uh, next to. Next to. Correct. Next how do you say, um, let me see. Ronald está a la par de Jairo. Ronald is between Ronald. Jairo. Next to. Next to. Next to Jairo. Next to Jairo. Very good. How do you say, um, María está a la par de Esteban. María está next to Esteban. Very good. El super selecto está a la par de Banco Bustatán. Super selecto. Super selecto. Next to Bustatán. Next to Bustatán. Correct. Now, then we have between. Say it with me, please. Between. 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 Now. Between is en medio de. How do you say en medio de? Between. 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 Yeah, very good. Pero, guys, hoy, yo sé que no viene el tema, pero les voy a dar otra preposición para que ustedes la tengan. En... Tenemos between. Y tenemos among. Okay. Among. Among. Let me go ahead and. and ¿Y show you. What you're doing? So it's, it's loading right now. All right. How do you say Metro Centro está entre Tertracen y Banco Atlántida? Y el hotel. 
Metro Centro is between Central and you have to cross the bridge. And Atlantic Bank. Very good. So, guys, pretty much in between, vamos a tener right. esto. Do you see this? Between S and B, dos cosas. Estamos. Ok. Y en el medio de. Exacto. Y Amon es como entre. Siempre sería entre, pero no nos fijamos literalmente el orden. Si se fijan, la, la señora, la maestra anda entre los niños, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero no necesariamente en un orden, no es que esté justo en medio de Pepito y Pepita. Uh -huh. Do you understand the difference between among and between? Yes. yes. Very good. Yes. How do you say with this picture? El niño está entre sus padres. The kid is between yeah, his father's parents. The kid, let me write it down. The kid is between his parents. His parents. parents. How do you say parents? Parents. 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 And then, how do you say, um, Johnny? Ahí está entre sus amigos. Johnny está entre sus amigos. Johnny is among, among, among his friends. friends. Johnny is among his friends. friends. His friends. Okay. He is among his friends. No necesariamente. He is among his friends. No está ahí en el en el barullo. He is between mm -hmm. his parents. Johnny right. is among his friends. <laughs> Very good. Is it clear, guys, the difference between among and uh, between? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Just a moment, please. Let's go back. Thank you. Me. So, guys, let me get this bigger. I'm going to play the video, but I'm also going to ask you a few questions about this. También les voy a hacer unas preguntas. Por favor, okay. mute your microphone. Main and first, it's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus, gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now, let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location 
of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the US post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, very good. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, is the following. How do you ask, donde esta el banco? Where is the bank? Mm -hmm. Exactly. How do you ask, donde esta el parqueo? Where is the, Where is the parking? Parks. Parking lot. Yeah. Parking uh -huh. lot. Where is the parking lot? Okay, so guys, I need any volunteer. Where is... Where is... This is, a, this is a shoe store. Say with me, shoe store. Shoe, shoe store. store. Shoe store. Oh. House coffee. The coffee oh. shop. Say with me, coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee, 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 coffee shop. P and J supermarket. P and J supermarket. Supermarket. Dance drugstore. Dance drugstore. Bookstore. 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 This is a book turn. Estoy haciendo esto porque es difícil de ver para que sepamos a dónde están las cosas, right? Coffee shop, nuevamente. Shoe store. PJ supermarket. Drug store. Restaurant. store. I can't send. ¿Ya lo enviaron? I can't. Right. If you can't do it, where is the How do you say uh, parqueo? Parking lot. Parking lot. Entrada. 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 Parking lot. Thank you. Entrada. 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 Entrance. Mm -hmm. Where is the hospital? So I'm giving you, for example, the hospital. Where's the hospital, guys? Vamos a tratar de ocupar todas las preposiciones que hemos ocupado. The hospital is between gas station and post office. Between the gas station and the post office. ¿Qué otra? ¿Qué más me pueden decir del hospital? The hospital. The hospital is a la par del post office. Next to next to post office. Next to post office. Good. How do you say está en Center Street? Uh, the sí. hospital oh. is on Center Street. Center Street. ST Center guys, Street. Es la abreviación para Street. Street. ¿Se dice calle? Street. 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 Everybody, say it with me. Street. 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 Correct. Street. Okay. How do you say está en la esquina de Center Street y First Avenue? The hospital is in a corner. In the in corner, corner or in, in a the corner place. of in a corner of in a corner of on the corner of Avenue on the corner of Center Street and First Avenue. There you go. So guys, como ustedes pueden ver, esto les va a quedar en el chat para que lo ocupen de ejemplo. Solo con el hospital sacamos una, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro direcciones. Y se pueden seguir sacando más, pero no les quiero meter tanta preposición. ¿Ok? Así que, 
Vamos a hacer dos grupos, guys. Voy a, necesito que vean esto como su, como su main, su, su imagen principal. Y que entre ustedes estén preguntando, hey, ¿dónde está el parqueo? Where is the department store? Where is the movie theater? Y que empecemos a ocupar nuestras posiciones. ¿Está claro? Okay. Okay. All right, very good. So I'm going to stop sharing, guys. I'm going to open the break rooms and you're going to have 15 minutes. Vamos a tener 15 minutos para poder decir todas las preposiciones, para tener todas las preguntas que queramos. All right? Okay. So, Vamos a hacer grupo right. 3. Please accept the invite. It's already sent. And I'm going to be visiting you. Los voy a estar visitando en los break rooms. Acepten la invitación, please. Accept the invite, please. All of you. All right, Oscar, please accept the email. Ronald, I already sent you the invite. You're going to work with Oscar, Nancy, and America. Okay, para mientras voy a revisar el trabajo de los demás. Por favor, acepta la invitación. Second Avenue? Yes, the store shoes in on Second Avenue. On Second Avenue. On Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Okay. Is in front of a movie theater. In front of. I suppose. Es que está como al lado. In oh no, enfrente. Enfrente en frente del, del teatro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh, in, in front of movie theater. Oh. Oh. Um, across from PJ Supermarket es, sí, ¿verdad? Mm. P, no, yo no logro leer. Across of PJ, su, across from PJ Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Sí, yes. Yeah. Okay. Where is the park? A park in front of the park department store. Okay. Um, a park in the park is the park is the park on main main. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese Street. Main Street. Street. Main, Main Street. Street. Ok. Um, Sería in front. In Main Street. No. On Main, on Main Street. Street. La calle. Oh, ok. In front of the department. The park store. La tienda. Yes. Where is the city bank? Where is, city, uh, where is the city bank? Where, where is the city, city bank? bank uh, between the department store. City bank is? Um, between is the between. department store and is between the department store and... Oh, se me olvidó que era el otro. It's between... It's a restaurant, I think. Restaurant. A restaurant. Uh -huh. No parece. Restaurant. Doesn't look like. And is and is <laughs> and is across from movie theater. The movie theater, correct. Uh -huh. And where is the gas station? Gas station. Sorry, is... well, I'm sorry to interrupt. Remember, guys. For example, the park is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Tratemos de ocupar absolutamente todas las que podamos sacar, ¿ok? Ok. All right, let me go ahead and check another group. Ok. okay. You're doing great, continue. Ok. okay.
Uh, where is the hospital? Uh, the hospital. Uh, Stay mute, the teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Pronunciation is hospital and mute. Hospital. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm here with you. Where's the hospital? Hola. Uh -huh. Where is the hospital? Uh, uh, the hospital is, the park? is a park. Uh, yes. The park is between between in the the hospital the park the park uh -huh. how do you say el parque está enfrente del department store the park is between the in front of the park is in front of uh -huh. en frente de es in front of in front of. Correct. Mm -hmm. Repeat it with me, please. Repeat it conmigo. The park is in front of the department store. The park is in front of. In front of. In the front department store. Department store. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you say el parque está... Al cruzar el teatro. Uh, uh, the park is across. Across of the theater. Yes, across from the theater. Across, across from, from the theater. The theater. The, 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 uh, the theater. theater. Uh -huh. Say with me, please. Theater. 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 Yeah. Esa es la pronunciación americana. La pronunciación inglesa es muy diferente. Theater. theater. All right. Very good. So, how do you say, ¿Dónde está el banco? Uh, the bank, the city bank is... ¿Y la pregunta? Uh, ¿Dónde está el banco? Where is the bank? Where, where is the, the bank? city bank? Uh -huh, where is the bank? Correct. Where is the bank? The bank is next to the department... Uh, store okay next to the department store very good the other one between the department store and maria restaurant good job city bank is between the department store and maria's restaurant all right um oscar where yes. pj's supermarket what where is P and J supermarket? No tengo la imagen. Ah, y entonces. No la. Sí, no. Tienes. El, es que no le pude tomar. Tienes el teléfono contigo. Lo mandaron al grupo. Ah, bueno, voy a ver en el. Ajá. There you go. Así puedes practicar. Because I have it in front of me in the in the WhatsApp. I have WhatsApp open on the computer so I can see it. You got it? Ya lo tienes? Sí. Yes. All right. Very good. So please tell me where is. P&J Supermarket, está a la derecha, los de en medio a la derecha. Casi no, no se distingue. No se distingue. A la par está el drugstore. How do you say P&J Supermarket está a la par de la farmacia? Déjame ayudarte. 
PNJ Supermarket. Repeat with me, please. PNJ Supermarket. PNJ Supermarket. PNJ Supermarket. It's is next to. Is it's next, next to, to the drugstore. The drugstore. The drugstore. Drug 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 How do you say PNJ Supermarket is a la par de la farmacia, Oscar? Lo mismo que acabamos de decir. The supermarket. Ajá. It's. Eh, a la par de. It's net, it, next to. Ajá. Uh, store drugs. Drugstore. Drugstore. Very good. Un poquito más fluido, Oscar. Tú puedes hacerlo. The supermarket is next to the drugstore. Tiraste. The, the supermarket is next to super the dro drug store drug the, the drugstore. There you go. Quita poco, guys. Vamos a quitar ese óxido que tenemos con el inglés. All right. Bye, guys. Keep on practicing. We still have a few minutes. Si están practicando, déjenme regresar al, al último grupo, okay? Okay. Thank you, Thank you guys. Sinceramente, no, ya, no lo veo. Across, across from the supermarket. Good, you're practicing. Good job. Okay. Guys, I have a question. You made a question. <laughs> Where is the post office? The post office is. Is on Center Street. Very good. Is mm -hmm. is um is the across next to bookstore the hospital. Across from the bookstore, fantastic. And then you said something. What about the hospital? Uh, next to next to the hospital. The next hospital. to the hospital. Very good, guys. Uh, could you please tell me where is Citibank? The city bank is between the department store mm -hmm. um, and, the restaurant. And, and the restaurant. And the restaurant. restaurant. I and think it's Maria's restaurant, but that, that doesn't mean Maria's restaurant. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me see someone else. Where is the theater, guys? Theater. Mm -hmm. wow. The theater. Oh, is on May Street. Street. Con T al final. Street. 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 Is across park. Across of. Across, across from. from across good job. From. Across from the park. From the. Okay, guys, where is the parking lot? The parking lot is in the across from across from the gas station. Across from the department store and across from the gas station. Correct. Um, where is the department store? Use on the corner of, please. Is on the corner of. Fifth Avenue and Main Street. There you go. Fantastic. Good job, guys. I'm super happy with the job you've done. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Good job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's get everybody back so we can close the session. Okay, so Marta, see you ready. Thank you, Edith. Keep it coming back. Good. All right, thank you, Tim. Hey, Tim, you did a great job. I really like the job you did. And I'm talking to you, Edith, Jairo, and, and Marta. You did a very, very good job. All right, now we're just waiting for the rest of the people to come back. We have a few seconds.
and we'll, we will be wrapping it up. In the meantime, guys, do you have any questions? It is Jairo, Martha? No, no, no question. No, no. Fear? Yeah, no, no question. All right, very good. So, guys, thank you very much. Did you have a chance to practice? Pudieron practicar? Yes. Yes, okay. How do you say in front of it? In front of. How do you say entre? Justo en medio. Between. Al cruzar. Across from. from. In front of. In front of. In front of. In the esquina de. A, a corner. On the corner of. On the corner of. Corner of. Very good. In the primera calle. On the. On the main street. On main street or first street. Okay, guys. So, espero que hayan entendido bastante cómo se usa las preposiciones. Alguien tiene una pregunta antes de destacarlo. Dejarlos ir. Ser libres. No. No. Okay. Now, acuérdense, guys, antes de dejarlos ir, los niveles principiantes son donde más tenemos que aprender, es donde más fuertes tenemos que hacer, porque luego ya intermedio, avanzado, ya prácticamente es práctica y vocabulario, eso es todo. Aquí, guys, es donde ustedes tienen que solidificar su estructura gramatical para que todo lo demás sea bajada, ¿ok? Acuérdense que en bajada todo es más fácil, hasta los, hasta los melones son veloces, ¿okay? <risa> Así que, guys, um, traten de hacer ejercicios. Ahí pueden meterse. Creo que les mandé la página de Ego for You y buscar las preposiciones. O si no, ejercicios de preposiciones y eso es todo. Perdón, de, sí, de preposiciones de lugar, porque también estamos de tiempo. Así que, guys, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for being a part of English Corporativo tonight. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Okay? Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Have a good time. I'll see you tonight, teacher. Bye.